It's 1983. Alarms are going off as five American missiles are approaching the USSR. Impact is only a few minutes away. In that moment, the Kremlin has only 30 minutes to decide on pushing the red button that will initiate a nuclear response. Petrov, a commander in a top secret Russian spying facility, is about to make the hardest choice of his life. A choice that will determine the future of the world. Petrov now has only 15 minutes to find out if the attack is real or fake and report it to his senior leadership. My comfortable chair now felt like a hot fan. My knees were buckling. I started sweating and shaking. I felt like I couldn't get up. I was so nervous, I just froze, Petrov said. Even though he was, by protocol, immediately supposed to release a swarm of nuclear missiles that would hit a number of targets in the USA, Petrov hesitated. Everything was ready, but I didn't want to fire the missiles. It was clear that firing them would end the world as we know it. I decided to wait. Minutes passed, alarms were going off and computers were indicating that American missiles were closer and closer to the USSR. The alarm shook the whole base, but I didn't fire our rockets, nor did I alert my higher command, as they would have ordered me to fire. In situations like this, you can't rationally analyze. There isn't much time, you rely on your instincts. And my instincts were telling me something wasn't right. In that moment, as he said, he only had two things on his mind. First, the computers were displaying only five missiles from one specific base heading at them. And they were all headed towards Moscow. A full American attack will not limit itself to only five rockets. They surely would have wanted to cripple all Soviet military bases. And second, the computers didn't have a human brain, and it was possible for them to falsely flag the signals they were receiving as a nuclear attack, said Petra, who decided to wait out the impact, even though it was possible that he wouldn't be able to strike back. There was only one minute left. Petra and his men were prepared for the worst, and then, as the final minute passed, nothing. Not a single explosion in Moscow. There wasn't a trace of an attack. While the computers were still saying that rockets hit the Russian capital, it was clear that this was a false alarm. Petrov reported the incident to his senior leadership and later investigations proved that Russian satellites malfunctioned because of a rare natural phenomena. Petrov's fatal decision remained unknown to the public until 1991, when it was first published in the memoirs of a Russian general. And who knows what the world will look like today if Petrov decided to push the red button. Now watch, this man fought with a sword in World War II. Or watch this video instead.